right, so today we're going to go over how to change your profile name in Arma 3 so that you can keep all of your keybinds when you're working in LSIMs or roleplay servers that require a name change because uh, keybinds in Arma are very complicated and it's just annoying to have to redo all of those. This will also retain your progress if you play King of the Hill or Exile that have to deal with your player ID. Uh, so go into PC, My Documents, depending on your working profile, which is going to be the one you're currently using. You'll either go to Arma 3 or Arma 3 Other Profiles. Most likely go to Arma 3 Other Profiles, unless you're using the default name that your PC is named, which is what Arma 3 uses by default. Go into Armor 3. I have a couple things here already uh, for different purposes. This is just a backup for TFAR, so you can ignore that. First thing you always want to do is back up the profile that you want to change the name to. Go ahead and create a copy, and that is going to just copy the profile. It'll make it a backup. You can rename it if you don't want to see it in the game, just add dot disabled to it. But I'm gonna actually use it. So we will change the name. Now I have to change my name because I have a rank attached to it. So it's gonna be uh, SGT. Spaces are signified by percentage marks. So you're gonna go ahead and put in a percentage. And I don't have to change anything else from there. Dots are signified by a two and a lowercase e. For some reason, that's what periods translate to. That's gonna rename the base file of the game. I am going to go ahead and copy paste this onto the other things that need to be renamed, which are right here. Go ahead and rename this. Want to leave the three den here as well. Leave that arma and leave dot vars. That should be all you have to change. This is a the same profile with just a different name that'll show up under the profile. All right, so after you've done that, you can confirm whether it was done correctly or not by launching Arma and going to parameters and clicking on your profile. You can see here that that profile was added correctly. It recognizes the spaces, everything else. And you'll have no issues with any type of loss of keybinds or file corruptions, anything like that. That's all there is to it.